So hello, hello, everyone. <laughs> welcome if you are new. Welcome back if you love me. I love you too. We're going to do some really quick housekeeping. For those of you who are super new, I have no filter, okay? I have, I'm a raw, real reader, and I care a lot more about your soul being happy and fulfilled and eternally grateful for life than I care about you loving me today, <laughs> okay? So keep that in mind. I use adult language. Um, I will talk about adult things, and anytime I use any of these decks, there may or may not be adult images in there, so just be aware of that if you're new to the channel. I also am doing an eternally grateful giveaway and you can find all the information for that in the description. Um, I did a whole video on the contents of the prize box and all of the things that are in it. Of course, there's, there's going to be special surprises in there, but you know, <laughs> I can't tell you those. It's just extra special bonus surprises. Um, but the video on everything that you know that's in there is linked in the description as well as how to join. Okay. And all the different perks you get for entering. So with that, I'm also going to be doing some pineapple charms for these messages. Um, just a few. So, you know, take them as they resonate for you. All of the readings, take them as they resonate. Don't force them to fit. Check out your other placements. Come back to them and revisit them in a couple weeks or at the end of the month. See how it panned out. Um, but for those of you who are working on your discernment, or need a little bit of a spiritual bitch slap, you know, like, hey, pay attention. Um, I am going to pull some pineapple charms, all right? There will be a separate video called Ophiuchase for guidance, and that will have guidance for all of the signs. So this will just be some insight for you. And if you want guidance on how to best move through the month, right? best mindset, best energy to be in as you're going through these things, um, definitely check out the If You Could Say message as well. All right. I love you. <laughs> Let's get into it. All right, Aries. <laughs> Aries, Aryan energy. Um, the house in which Aries rules for you is what this message will give you some insight into. I am using the intuitive night goddess Tarot. All right, so you know what I'm using. Aries, you will also have a bonus reading. All right, you guys had the most comments in July. So you will have um, this message and you will have an additional one after all the other readings are recorded. So uh, keep a lookout for it because if this one doesn't resonate, that one might and that one might end up being an extension, <laughs> right? Like an extended version of this one. We'll see what else comes out for you. All right, so keep it in mind and don't forget to drop more likes and leave more comments and share this out with your other Aries placement friends <laughs> to get up them views, right? All right. So, Aries, spirit please, what is going on with Aries, Aryan energy, and the month of September, Aries has um, North Node, Chiron, and Eris in there, what is going on, at the beginning of the month, um, South Node is actually conjunct Eris, an opposing uh, South Node series, so that's interesting. All right, what else? I'm doing a nine card spread, by the way, for those of y'all who are curious. Hmm. Bottom of the deck is the Empress. Top of the deck is the Seven of Pentacles. All right, Aries. I think the big issue or challenge for you is about receiving. I think your Aryan energy is used to taking action in order to get what you want. 
but I think if you continue to take action um, or try to communicate or talk your way into it. Ooh, some of y'all, I just heard, or sex your way into it. Like, sex might be a love language for you, or you might be trying to avoid things with sex or, or create attachments via sexual energy. Just be aware of that. It's not necessarily a, a terrible thing, right? Makeup sex is great, but make sure that you're not actually avoiding problems um, <laughs> through shit like that, okay? I think there's some work that needs to be done. I don't think you want to hear it. I think you're making judgment calls and that ultimately that energy could be super controlling and leave you um, in a very childish or immature feeling experience. That's, that's the cross in the nine cards, right? We have the eight of pentacles, the eight of wands reversed, the judgment card, the page of wands, and the devil. You might want other people to do the work that you need to do. And if you're not careful and you keep pushing other people to do the, do the work for you, right? Um, they might end up making a judgment call and deciding they need to reinvent themselves from you. Okay, so just be aware not to fall into the temptation of the cross and the spread. The value of it or the diamond of it um, is creating this foundation based off of what it is that you desire to experience. Knowing that the universe is going to bring it to you in some which way, shape, or form. And it's going to leave you in the dark and you're gonna have to be comfortable being in the dark. All right, Aries, you're gonna have to be comfortable being in the dark. I do not think this is the time for you to, to take like major actions. All right, pineapple charms we have, I did a good shake off camera we've got hot sauce all right these are all synchronicities that could speak to you um someone might have called you spicy lately <laughs> uh maybe you've been dealing with a little bit of a uh, temper like hot sauce <laughs> be fucking saucy we've also got a globe like the earth here okay you may be well traveled or thinking about it we've got a clock you can see that there okay we've got an angel fish Reminds me of strong Piscean energy between the clock and the fish because Saturn's in Pisces and clocks and time are typically indicative of Saturn. So um, maybe being influenced by the strong Pisces Saturn energy going on right now. Uh, we've also got a key. And a starfish. The blue one. And then we got one bead. And it's Virgo. So you may have a significant Virgo placement. Um, or you may be dealing with someone who is in, you know, pertaining to the energy of this spread. All right. I'm feeling uh, Aries that, and you know what, Mercury's retrograding in Virgo, the sun's in Virgo most of the month. Um, I feel like, and Lilith is popping in and out of Virgo, so if you're dealing with Virgoian energy, you may have a lot of things coming up from the past, a lot of triggers, especially with Saturn and Pisces opposing that energy. Uh, if you have strong Virgo placements, Aries, or you're dealing with someone who does, like there is a lot 
going on in the mirror of things and um, due diligence if you have to get some work done then you have to get some work done because if you're putting it all on someone else especially if they do have strong Virgo placements and they're burnt out or already feel like they're doing everything as is they might not be interested in in that like someone who you know barks orders and direction but doesn't take the lead and initiate getting things done. You know what I mean? There is a difference. Like if you think about Aryan energy and the emperor card in the upright, it is someone who is strong and, and willpower, you know, like strong willpower and, um, does take action, right? They take initiative and, and get things done where like the emperor reverse is tyrannical and dictatorial and very unpleasant, you know, barking orders type of emperor. Um, you think of Joffrey <laughs> in Game of Thrones, right? Awful, awful. Um, but yet in the upright, like the emperor is like Jon Snow, <laughs> you know, so you kind of have to figure out which kind of partner, person, friend, whatever label you have, what you are, right? I think that you can, I think that you can manifest a lot of good when you just sit tight and kind of do what needs to get done without putting extra stress on other people. Like my rule of thumb in any relationship is if it bothers you, you do it. If it bothers you, you fix it. If the dishes are piling up and it bothers you, you do it. If the grass needs to get cut and it's bothering you, you do it. If the trash needs to go out, you do it. If laundry needs to get done, it's overflowing and it's bothering you, then you do it. You're the one it's bothering. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you're the one it's bothering. Like, you got to do it. So... If you need more money in the house, do it. If you need to save money, do it. <laughs> Don't wait on your partner to stop spending. You stop spending. You start saving it and putting it away. Be like, yo, I'm putting this aside to save this money. Don't fucking touch it. <laughs> right? Like, make sure that, you know, you're taking initiative to do what needs to get done in the right direction without expecting it to be on everybody else just because you said so. All right. Because that that's going to be your big challenge in September. All right. Thank you, Aries. I love you. Drop like, let me comments. Let me know. <laughs> let me know if you're cross watching, let me know if you're dealing with Aryan energy. All right. Because this is a definitely uh, step up or shut up kind of month <laughs> on a real note. All right, guys, I will see you in your bonus spread. And if you could say until we next meet, bye.